Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a fun one for you. We have a thrift haul. I went to, like, three flea markets yesterday on Saturday, and I did find some dolls, but I didn't find stuff at all the flea markets. Two of them were actually total duds. I didn't find anything there at all, but one of them was pretty good. So... Sorry, I just heard a weird noise. Um, so anyway, let's get right into it. It's the, it's the bags over there. <laughs> it's just the bags. Okay, let's begin. I'm gonna start with the Bratz dolls that I thrifted, starting with this Chloe. I believe this to be the Holiday Chloe. Um, she looks like the Holiday Chloe. But there is also a Head Games Chloe with the same uh, screening. Not to mention these look like Head Games earrings. These are the ones that have like little hooks on them and you're supposed to like hook the dangly earrings onto them, which um, I believe the Head Games dolls would wear. I don't think the actual Holiday Chloe wore that. She also has her hair pulled into a ponytail, but you know, that's how the actual Holiday Chloe looked. So I don't know, it could be Holiday Chloe. Um, well, I guess she's called Winter Ball Beauty. It could be Winter Ball Beauty Chloe, or it could be Head Games Chloe. She is wearing some Yasmin shoes, and she's also wearing a Yasmin skirt. Her legs don't look dirty. And she's also wearing a Fianna shirt. And also, um, I have some wipes here, so we're gonna wipe her face down real quick. Okay, that didn't really help. I thought it might get more of the dirt off, but it looks like I'm gonna have to go in with the soft scrub. Also, she has three cut plugs right here. Just three random cut plugs. But when I style her hair, it'll be covered up, so cool. Our next doll is this Yasmin, who I also believe to be a Head Games doll, potentially. Maybe the one from the playset? And by the place that I mean the uh, game. What the hell is that? You got mulch in your hair? Okay, gonna clean her face. Her head is very loose on her body, and I think cleaning her kind of helped a little. Um, yeah, she's wearing this very random dress and a pair of Yasmin shoes, which I actually like these ones. I like the ones with the white straps. They're really cute. So I'll definitely be using those. Uh, she does have a minor lip chip as well. Yeah unfortunate but what are you gonna do our next doll is campfire chloe so again uh chloe does have a small lip chip similar to yasmin i thought you had a lip chip where is it oh oh yeah there it is yeah um it's a little hard to see but it's like right here yeah, it's right above my nail. It's very minor, as you can imagine. Her hair is actually pretty soft, and she seems to be wearing a Barbie dress that I actually don't hate, and she's also wearing some Yasmin shoes. Again, I just really like these, like, white heels on Yasmin's skin tone. I think they look really nice. So, yeah, very cute doll. I might display her in her second outfit. Now we're on to the Monster High dolls, starting with Venus. Venus McFly Trap. So this is Music Festival Venus, you can tell because of this in her hair. Her hair is actually pretty well kept. Normally I hate dealing with messy Kanekalon, but it's not that messy. I could probably just wash it a little bit. Doesn't really need that much detangling. She is wearing a Freaky Field Trip Toralized dress. I didn't see that doll, by the way. If I did, I would have bought her. But um, yeah, there's just a Toralized dress on this Venus, and she's also wearing a Bratz Dynamite piece. The leather all seems to have peeled off. Um, her hands are in pretty good shape. She's not chewed anywhere, she just doesn't have shoes. Overall, she is in pretty good shape, and she wasn't that expensive. I don't remember how much I paid, but she was pretty cheap considering what Monster High dolls go for at the flea market and on eBay and everywhere else these days. I'm just gonna group them together, but here's the other Monster High doll I bought. It is a Laguna. I want to say this is Picture Day Laguna, but I'm actually not quite sure. She's also wearing a Barbie dress, which again is really cute. I want to keep this. Um, I'll give Laguna something else to wear. I'm sure I've got something somewhere. But um, she's got this ribbon tied in her hair that obviously I need to take out because it's not hers. I want to say it's picture day Laguna, but her face is very dirty. Wow. All right, we're bringing back the wipe. Yeah, that is, that's much better. I've noticed Monster High dolls are more receptive to being wiped down than like Bratz faces are. So they're queen. So yeah, overall, these two are super cute. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I'll figure something out. That was all the Monster High dolls I found, so now we're gonna move on to the Ever After High dolls. Starting 
with Dragon Games Holly. I just hit her with the wipe off camera to get that black mark off of her face. Thankfully it came off. Uh, the thing with thrifting is that when you find a doll and like there's like a bit of discoloration somewhere like on the body, you never really know if you can take care of it. Like I didn't notice that her arms were discolored until right now. That sucks, but um, on the bright side, her face was easy to clean. Yeah. Uh, when you're thrifting, you definitely have to be more careful of stuff like that. I honestly didn't notice the discoloration. Mm. I would not have bought her if I noticed that. <laughs> she doesn't have any earrings, but she does have a crown up here. She's got her Dragon Games crown. She does need her hair redone. It's a bit messy. She's got her armor. The discoloration does not carry over to the back of her. It's just on the front of her arms. She's got her belt. She's got both of her bracelets and her boots. So overall, the doll is in good condition. It's just unfortunate that she has discoloration on her arms. I really wish I'd noticed that sooner. Our next doll is another Holly. It is Spring Unsprung. So this doll is in pretty good shape as well. She's got both of her earrings. She has her um, uh, shoulder pads and her necklace. She has her belt. She's got her bracelet. And there doesn't seem to be any noticeable discoloration to her body. Granted, she's also like very much covered. Um, her neck might be discolored actually. Actually, no, I think that's just how she looks. I think I'm just, like, paranoid now. She's got her leggings, she has her boots. This doll is pretty much complete, so that's good. I just need to fix her hair and compare her to my own Holly to make sure that I'm keeping the least wonky one for myself, because that's, that's usually what I do. I sometimes randomly notice that my dolls are wonky, and I'm like, oh, shit, I need to replace it. So she might be a good replacement if my current one is wonky. I have three of this doll currently. I have one in the box. Our next ever After High doll is Lizzie. As you guys know, I named myself after this character, so I love her and I buy her every chance I get. Unfortunately, she does have a lot of issues that I did not notice until I brought her home. Starting with the discolored arm. Why, why do so many of them have discolored arms? But of course, there are other problems as we move down, namely in the fact that she has a Claudine hand. It's not even, it's not even the right hand. She has one hand that is correct, which is this one. And her arm also isn't discolored on this side. She has her neck piece. She's got her earrings and this thing. She seems to have her placed shoes. I'm pretty sure these aren't hers, but she does have her leggings. Overall, she's not terrible, but she's not as good as I thought she was going to be either. So to say I'm disappointed is definitely a, an understatement, but I'm pretty sure she didn't cost me too much. So it's fine. I'm just... How did I not notice this, man? Finally, our last ever after hide all that we thrifted, well, that I thrifted, I... is Just Sweet Blondie. So this doll is in a bit of rougher condition. She does actually have a lot of her accessories, such as her bracelet. She's got this little cupcake purse and this little cupcake um, ring. Yeah, she's got her belt. She has her necklace. She's just missing her little shawl, I believe. Uh, let me check my own. Okay, it seems like she's also missing a headband. I'm... I'm not going in there to get her. I'm too lazy. Oh no, she has those things, actually. Okay, so she is pretty complete. She's got her little cupcake earrings. Like, this doll is in pretty good shape. She's basically just missing the one piece. The one piece! The one piece is real! She's got her shiny leggings and her cute shoes. So, yeah, overall, really good condition. I just need to clean her hair, and her face isn't even dirty. I'm gonna clean it anyway, because I've hit everyone with the wipe, it would be discrimination to leave Blondie out. So, um, yeah, you know, I treat all my dolls equally. Everyone gets to be hit with the wipe. So that's all the Ever After High Girls, and that's all the Brats and Monster High Girls. And ghouls. Overall, this was a pretty nice haul, and I am looking forward to cleaning all of them. I actually have some free time right now, so I think I'm gonna go get up to that, and therefore, I'm gonna call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I always have fun making these thrift hauls and while they're not as common as they used to be on my channel, like I don't find as much stuff as I used to, um, it always is nice to have a bit of a big score like this. Like I'm pretty sure this is like seven dolls. Four and that's like three. Nine. It's nine dolls. I can count. So yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching and as always I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Editing Lizzie, I'm adding a little thing at the end, um, 
I just started listening to the Danger Days album from My Chemical Romance, and I know you're gonna call me a fake fan. I've been a My Chemical Romance fan for, like, what, like, seven years now, and I haven't, like, listened to Danger Days. <laughs> uh, it's really good. It's really good. It's a good album.